Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, this is part two of my SharePoint for project management uh, featuring uh, the timesheets um, list. And uh, what I'm going to be working on right now is the different ways to view this data. So if you see here, you were looking at the all items view, which is a little cumbersome. There's a lot of information here that probably isn't uh, required all at once. And um, I think what we, what we want to do is clean it up, give it some levels of grouping um, so that we can see the data in a different light. Now, what we're going to work on first is in order to set up our views, we have a few columns that we need to add to our view. And the first one is a column we've seen before. We did the same call type of column in the task list, and it's called start of week. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take the task date and figure out what the start of the week is. So what's the first weekday of that week? And we're going to use that date uh, to um, group by, and basically it says, you know, anything starting with the, this day of the week uh, or this week will be grouped within a, um, a, a grouping in, in, in one of those views. The other one we're going to add is end of task, and that is essentially going to add the uh, uh, the hours that were were used to create this uh, task or to do to complete this task to the task date so whenever this task started plus the hours uh, that were created uh, or that were uh, that were used to to do this and uh, this end of task can actually be used for things like uh, building a Gantt chart, for example, and uh, it, those those types of things are really useful um, because you know we can start to build a projection of how um, how our time is being used uh, in a different type of visualization. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to start off with uh, adding a start of the week or start of week is what it's called, and we could just go into here and click on uh, create column. You see, this is a slightly different view than going through the uh, the list settings, and it's going to be a calculated column. Okay, and we're going to just uh, go over here and grab the formula. All right, and we're going to go over here. Where we're going to paste it into formula, and feel free to uh, dissect what that formula does if you weren't familiar from the last uh, the last video that we did. Uh, we're going to do uh, date time is the uh, is the refer return for this formula. Date and time format is date uh, date and time this time. Um, and the reason there is because um, this one uh, actually sorry this one is uh, just date only because we only we only need just the date information. Okay, so let's uh, press OK. Okay. And now you see that we now have the start of the week. So if we think about the task date, this is the uh, the eighth, and this one says the start of the week is the sixth. So let's take a look at what the start of the week is. Well, that's a Sunday, all right. So it basically extrapolated uh, the what is the start of this week uh, and uh, from the the task date. So now. We have a date that we can pivot off um, for the start of the week. And if you think about how task dates work, every people will be finishing and doing things on all kinds of different days of the week. And um, when we look at uh, the start of the week, that says here's uh, the the actual the beginning of that week. So seven days later, we would be our, our Saturday. And, uh, and and we've got anything that we can group by anything that happened within the, the, those date parameters. So let's give this a shot here. We'll go back over. And uh, now one thing we have to do is create an end task uh, column. So again, just like we did before, very simple. So we'll take uh, paste that in, get the formula. OK, and this one takes the the task date plus hours divided by 24. And that just essentially gives a percentage of the 24 hour day and adds it into the date. Okay, we'll paste that formula in. 
we are looking at a date and time and it looks like I've got a mistake here I'll make a uh, I'll fix that up but the end date is actually a date and time so we're gonna do do some fixing there which we'll do that right here in the video and I'll update the tutorial okay so <clears throat> here we have it you can see there's a difference uh, between uh, what's uh, how things how things work okay this one is five hours you can see there was five hours additional to the to the task date ten hours for here so and again ten hours difference on that task date okay at that end of task good okay now we've got our um, now we've got our calculated columns fantastic so let's move ahead so let's uh, let's create a view named uh, grouped by assigned to Okay. Now our group by assigned to is quite simple here. Um, it uh, takes only a few parts of the tasks. We're going to create a standard view. Now, um, as things go along, you'll see that these uh, existing views will start to grow and we might be able to uh, leverage off some of the things that we've done in other views. But we're going to start off with a standard view, which generally pulls from uh, the all items view. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to take uh, group by uh, assigned to. Okay, we don't want all of these columns because, of course, that was what was causing uh, a lot of the problems with when we were looking at st at the uh, information on the list. We just want title, deliverable, project phase, task, hours. Okay, and I think I'm going to add in task date as well. So let's look at it here. Uh, we can take away the granular stuff here. Uh, we don't need assigned to because it's going to be part of the group. And I'm going to put in the keep the task date in there. And we don't need start of the week or end of the week. I'm going to put yeah, I'm going to put I think I'm going to organize the task date to be just after title. Okay. So let's give this a shot there. Now that's that's the first part of this, okay? When we select OK, you're going to see that uh, you know it's very simple right now, just a simplified view, but that's not what we want. It's not grouped yet, okay? So we're going to go back into that and modify the view, all right? Now from here, uh, you see lots of other things we've done before. There's sort, there's filter, uh, and, and and there's some great things to do within that. But right now, what we're just going to focus on is uh, the grouping. All right. Now the grouping here, I want to filter or, or uh, uh, group by assigned to, and then the deliverable. Okay. And the next thing I want to do, whenever I come to this view, I want it always to be expanded. Okay, now you can you can have it collapsed. That's, there's nothing wrong with that if that's the way you prefer. Uh, I kind of prefer when I'm looking at these views to come see something that's uh, that's expanded, but uh, that's just because there's not a lot of information in there yet. Okay, um, we will also add a totals for hours. So it's what it's going to do here is it's going to sum up the hours, and we can just by, do that by selecting sum next to hours. Okay, and I think that's it. Let's find out what happened here. Click OK. Now we've got a nice little view here. You can see that uh, that uh, my name is first, and then I see the deliverables that I've been working on. Okay, so it's a nice view. I, I know that I've got tasks that I'm doing, and I, I know that I'm I, I'm applying hours to things that are real. Okay, and this is very valuable when you're tracking what's happening in a project. Sometimes you'll see, you may see that someone is um, not doing enough, uh, or maybe they're not realizing that they should be tracking it. So in a real situation uh, where they are being paid on their timesheets. Um, you will be able to look at this view and say, hey, Chris doesn't have a lot of hours. We should make sure that he's uh, he's putting in his hours properly so that he's actually getting paid. And believe me, that happens a lot in, in companies. Sometimes people forget. So let's, uh, let's think about how the sum works now. Um, in this case, if I had a lot of tasks that I was working on in the deliverable uh, called API, I, uh, I, you know, I'd have more than five, of course, and f five hours, but this would be summed up in this nice line right here, 
okay? Then we have a nice uh, sum total up at the top of 15 hours. And it's just me right now, so of course there's, no, there's not, uh, not much to see. Um, but inside of my records, my grouping, I also have a sum as well, okay? So again, very useful stuff that you can, um, you can uh, pivot off and decide what's useful to see. You can add more detail to this if you choose, if you feel like it's going to be more helpful. But I think this is, uh, I think we're on the right track here with this one. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create another view. And this view will also be a standard view. Um, but this time I'm going to use the uh, the existing view of group by assigned to, and only because it's using some of the same features, like uh, like the, the columns that it displays. So if I don't want to redo that work, um, I can uh, I can just start from an existing view. Okay, now uh, the view name is uh, grouped by week in this case. Okay, now this one is very important because um, uh, what we want to be tracking as well is what's happening each week. All right, um, you know, sometimes you'll see that uh, again, either group members might um, slow down on their work um, or there's not a lot of a lot of work happening um, but you can you, you can um, draw some uh, conclusions on as to what happened during that week uh, by having uh, this t different type of view okay now um, the group by is going to be in this case is going to be start of week okay and let's see we've got all these titles here start of week then by assigned to okay so our assigned to, to is right here we've got expanded is still uh, selected i think we're pretty good to go here and that was very quick so we can click on okay and there we have it so um so what i have is start of the week and I can say that on this the week of the sixth uh, I uh, did these tasks okay um, so why don't we try adding a new task that is maybe related to another week okay well do do something that uh, that we did um, a while ago so let's say we did some order requirements stuff and we still worked on that requirements document and we worked on uh, that for five hours i'm going to go back in time a little bit here so that we uh, show a different level of grouping we say that we worked us on this on august 24th for uh, august 31st and i'm saying uh, getting started now if i type correctly getting started now all right uh, I think we're pretty good here. Oops, I got to assign my name. I don't think it would let me pro proceed without it, but uh, we can push save. And now we have some different groupings. So here we have uh, uh, the week of the 30th. Okay, so if I go back here and look at that, I've got the week of the 30th and then the week of the 6th. Okay. I have um, the sum uh, of 20 hours total that I've worked on the project. In the week of the 30th, I worked uh, uh, five hours. Um, and then on the week of the 6th, I worked a total of 15 hours. All right. Now, if I have more people assigned to this, of course, it's going to have another different levels of grouping. And, and that makes it uh, kind of handy, again, for visualization. Okay, now one more um, uh, view that we're going to be working on here. I th think this is just a this is just an off the cuff one, and I'm just going to give it a shot and show you how it works. Now a Gantt view. You may be asking yourself, why do I want a Gantt view? Well, what a Gantt view is going to show in terms of uh, visualizing a timesheet is you're going to get a view of when people are working, what, what days um, you'll see a bunch of uh, a bunch of 
milestone dots on the screen that say, okay, there you know, most most people are working on a Tuesday or a Wednesday and etc. So I'm just going to call this Gantt. Okay, and <clears throat> the information that we want to uh, work off is we just we really just need some simple data. I, you you can decide what data you want to do, but I do want to have uh, some very simple stuff in here. Okay, we don't need uh, uh, start of week. Um, we can keep end of task because it's not really necessary. Uh, and let's say assigned to, assigned to uh, deliverable. Let's let's keep that this one. Let's keep deliverable. Why not? Okay. And yeah, let's keep for, yeah let's keep this stuff. This is I think this is all right. So we'll run with that. All right. So those are the columns that we're looking at. Now the Gantt columns need uh, need some specific attention here. So uh, the title of my task will be the title column, which was up uh, in the top. The start start date of the task is my task date. Okay. The due date is the end ta end of task. However, you'll see that it doesn't visualize very well in this in the way this is because most of the time when we're working on a task it's not something that goes beyond a 24 hour peel period so you don't really need to worry about your due date at this point okay um, you can you can add some sorting and and things but group by doesn't work and totals don't work so so don't uh, be confused by that Okay, and let's see. Must start. Must select start date, due date, titles. Okay, well let's uh, let's just do that. We'll we'll select our. Uh, actually, you know what? We're just going to keep it exactly the same date because that won't make anything confusing. But you'll see what the visualization looks like when it's ready. Okay, so here we have it. <clears throat> This is our today line, okay? We have um, an entry here, an entry here, and an entry here. Now, you may be looking at this and saying, well, that's not a Gantt view, but it's it's a Gantt uh, visualization, a Gantt style visualization, and sometimes this can be valuable for someone in a project management position trying to understand when are people working? You know, what's uh, you know, are they are, are they more working on a Monday or a Tuesday or a Friday or a Saturday? Uh, you can start to think about optimizing your team that way and uh, helping them schedule themselves perhaps on days that are best for them. So we've gone through uh, s uh, three types of views: the grouped by, assigned to. And we've gone to the uh, group by week. Okay, this is a really great view here. This is probably the one that I would use most often uh, in tracking pro productivity. And I really like the Gantt view because, again, for me, this is uh, these, this is important stuff. I like to look at what people are doing, when people are working, and and perhaps start asking some questions of why. Okay, and we can we can always clean up our uh, our all items view. So why don't we do that right now? We'll finish up our video with a nice, clean-looking uh, view here. We'll take down. Let's see. We'll take that. Uh, we want to assign to test dates. Not worried about the car, the comments. Um, well, I guess I'll keep them in. I'm going to keep them in just so that we know that if there's comments there, we'll know. Okay. And we'll just press OK. Much, much cleaner, lots a lot less fields showing up. And if I need more information, I can always click on that and uh, and go directly to it. Good. OK, that's great, guys. I'm, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this one. And um, in the next uh, videos, I'll be starting to work on uh, exporting to Excel and doing a little bit more work um, in uh, in the the data collection and curation side of this so that we uh, can visualize things a little better by using some charts in Excel. And then uh, furthermore, what we're going to do is start developing uh, some pages uh, for displaying dashboards. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember to like and share and uh, 
uh, comment if you if you like what you see and I always like to see the feedback enjoy thank you